Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to quick talk about some confusion with HBO services. In the news this week, they announced a new platform called HBO Max, and I personally was like, what is this? I already have uh, HBO Now. So what is, what, is, what is the deal? What is the difference between HBO's now three streaming platforms, HBO Go, HBO Now, and this new one, HBO Max? The first and the oldest one is HBO Go, and this is basically a streaming option for people who already pay for HBO through their cable package. So if you still have cable and you uh, opted to have the additional channels that HBO provides, then you have access to HBO Go. You would go on this website and then you would give your cable service providers information. They would verify that you're already paying for HBO and then you would have access to all the same streaming content that you would get uh, from HBO's other platforms. HBO Now is, is identical, it's the exact same streaming content available, except you don't need to have an existing cable package. Uh, this is for people that don't want cable, like myself. And I currently have HBO Now, I pay $15 a month, uh, and I get this through my Amazon Prime account, and I, I just generally like the player better. And I think $15 a month is pretty reasonable, uh, I like watching the occasional movie, and I like Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, Westworld, uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, and I'm really into Silicon Valley right now. It's a hilarious show if you have never seen it. So I was really confused when they announced the something called HBO Max. And I said, why? What is this? I already have HBO. And it's confusing because when you look down here, you see all these logos. You see Crunchyroll, Warner Brothers, TBS, CNN, Cartoon Network. HBO, Adult Swim, DC Comics, uh, Cinemax, uh, and True TV and T TNT. So I had to like figure out what the heck is going on. And what I've concluded is, is that this is Time Warner Cables. Like if you had cable growing up, like me, you most likely at some point had Time Warner Cable. It's been rebranded. And I feel like this is their attempt to compete with Disney. They need to launch a streaming platform that's a paid subscription model and they're going to start producing original content, TV shows and movies that will go directly and exclusively to their platform like, Net like Netflix is doing and like Disney Plus soon will be doing next month. And yeah, I can't keep track of all this who bought who. Uh, at some point, Time Warner Cable became Warner Media and they purchased HBO as well as Cinemax and all these other channels. But then in 2018, AT&T purchased uh, the new Warner Media. So who owns who, who stratifies what, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that this large media conglomerate, which has a lot of original content that they can introduce on a streaming platform, decided to give their new platform a name and they didn't want to call it Warner Brothers Streaming or Time Warner Streaming, because I think so many people had bad experiences uh, with their old cable services. I helped my parents cut the cord about two years ago, and honestly, their cable bill was like $200 a month. Like, the uh, financial uh, <laughs> egregiousness was pretty, pretty bad. And I watched this interview with Warner Media's new CEO. Uh, his name is John Stanky, and he's only been on the job for a year, but he basically did this interview with CNBC uh, talking about the transition from the old uh, cable package model to the new online stre streaming subscription model. And we'll just watch a couple seconds here. Go through a cycle of kind of recalibrating and resetting the business. We've made great progress. Uh, it's been moments of disruption and displacement and anxiety that have occurred, but we're in a much better place right now than we were at the day the transaction closed. It was... So he's talking about the, the AT&T buyout of Warner Media and just basically this entire uh, paradigm shift of Warner Media's old business model. I don't know what's going to happen to cable. Cable is still a thing. It's, I don't think it's ever going to go away, you know, packages with 1,000 channels. But the future, uh, people my age and younger, we're always going to have streaming on demand. What, watch what you want to watch without commercials. So yeah, this new streaming platform, and once again, this is Warner Brothers, or Time Warner, or whatever they call themselves. Um, they're calling themselves HBO Max, but HBO is just one component of this media conglomerate. And it's going to launch next year in May 2020, 
And the price tag will be $15 a month, which is the exact same price tag of HBO Now. So I'm guessing at some point they're gonna notify their HBO Now customers and say, hey, you can pay the exact same price and get 11 times more content if you just go to this new platform. That's what I'm probably gonna end up doing and I hope that I can once again get to this through Amazon Prime. If I can't, that might be a problem. And when we scroll down, it gives you kind of a snapshot of some exclusive content that's coming to their new platform. They're gonna be streaming Rick and Morty, Friends, Big Bang Theory, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, The West Wing. They're gonna have the entire Studio Ghibli animated collection, Spirited Away, um, Naushika in the Valley of the Wind, Princess Mononoke. And additionally, they'll have a lot of uh, kids content. Um, I'm actually interested in the Looney Tunes Back in Action collection. If they get all of the old like uh, afternoon cartoon shows like Batman the Animated Series or Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, I think that'd be really cool and it would be able to compete with Disney Plus's uh, announcement that they're gonna have basically their entire Disney afternoon lineup from the 90s. I just think that's pretty, pretty awesome. Okay guys, that's all I got for today's video. If you have any thoughts or comments about this, leave me one down below. In addition, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. I post weekly about military and finance topics, but occasionally if there's something that I just had to teach myself about, I'm more than willing to make a video and help you guys out. And until the next time, take care.